You might be wondering what the difference is in quiet, balanced performance and custom mode for the thermal mode, as well as the OS power mode and if you should use performance, balanced or efficiency and we're going to be testing all of that today. And for these tests, I did use the older Legion space, but I went ahead and reran all of these thermal tests to see if there's a difference and it pretty much behaves exactly the same. So all of these tests should still be pretty accurate, even if you updated Legion space. And then for the second part of the test, we're going to be doing the OS power mode, which is efficiency, balanced and performance. That's a setting inside of Windows that is changing through Legion space to see if there are any differences in those. First up, we have quiet mode. Here we are in the heaven benchmark. And if we fast forward a bit, you can see right up here, quiet mode is about eight watts. This is plugged in. And here we are on quiet mode unplugged. And we'll fast forward a little bit to let it balance out. And while it's unplugged, we're also getting about eight watts. Next up, we're going to run balance. And we'll go to just fast forward a little bit. And if you look up here, you can see it's at 26 watts. And as we fast forward, it slowly brings it down. It acts really weird in Legion space and the way it controls watts. So it's going to take a little while and I'll fast forward even more. And we can see 20, 19, 18. And this is taking quite a while to get down. And eventually this does level off right at 15 watts. And then also changing it to balanced while we're unplugged. We can see here it's going to spike up again there we are pretty much the exact same thing it does drop quite a bit faster though and you can see right here we're already leveled off at 15 watts pretty quickly now we're going to go ahead and switch over to performance and in performance we can see it goes all the way up to about 27 starting off and this is taking even longer to drop it's holding 27 for a really long time then it's finally going down to 26 and i will fast forward even more we can see 25, 24, 23. We'll go even a little faster. This takes a while. And then there we go. We level off right at that 20 watt range for performance. Then moving on over to unplugged, we're going to go ahead and do performance on battery. And we'll go ahead and let this run. You can see it went all the way up to 34 for a second there and then leveled off at 20, but it was a lot faster. So when you're unplugged, it's going to honor that watt value a lot quicker than when you're plugged in where it takes a lot longer. Now we're going to jump over to custom mode and give that a try. You can see here we are at 30 watts and pretty much as soon as we open the game, it jumps up above 30 and it holds about 32, 31. And then slowly, if we speed up here, you can see it's dropping down to about 30. Then I wanted to drop the TDP to 20 watts in custom mode. And here we can see it leveled off at 20 really quickly, jumping to 25 watts for just a second and then down to 20. And you can see it's just maintaining pretty much 20 watts, blinking between 20 and 21. So I decided to lower it down to 15. And this is where we get a really interesting result. You can see right here we're at 17. I'm going to fast forward and it is actually going to go up slightly. So we can see here it just hit 18. We're going to fast forward a little more and there we go, 19. And this is pretty much what I found no matter what you set in custom, whether you are plugged in or unplugged, it is going to go back up to 19 watts. Even here, you can see I'm going to lower this all the way down to 10 watts. And here we go. You can see it went down to 16. But then as we fast forward, just watch this 17, 18, and it's about to hit 19 again. So it's just completely ignoring that custom wattage. I even tried seven. It did the same thing. So I decided to up it to 25. And this is where I found out what it was doing. You can see here we just jumped to 30 getting back in the game 34 and we'll fast forward a little bit and it's just going to take a while to get back down because we are plugged in so it takes a while before it honors that you'll see now it's about 30 and we'll just keep fast forwarding really fast this is taking a long time and there we go it's at 25 watts so pretty much over here anything between 20 and 30 you will be able to set it and it should hold it in custom mode but if you go below that it really doesn't do any good so pretty much the options right now are quiet mode which is going to give us eight watts both plugged in and unplugged we've got balance mode which is going to give us 15 watts plugged in and unplugged and then we have performance mode which is going to give us 20 watts and then the nice thing is custom kind of takes over from there and gets us from about 1920 all the way up to 30. i also saw we got a legion space update so I went ahead and installed that and I figured this might fix the watt issues. So I went ahead and reran all these tests again with the new Legion space. And on all of these, the same thing happened. Eight watts in quiet mode, 
on balanced, you can see it's jumping up to 27 and I'll fast forward again, you can see it does the exact same thing. And eventually we get down to 15 watts. And then here on performance mode, same thing again, we're at about 27, 26. I'll fast forward, you're gonna see it drop down and we're gonna level off right around 19, 20 watts. I went ahead and retested custom as well, just to see. So you can see here, I'm setting it at 14 watts. And then you can see here, it starts off at 17 and it's going to climb just a little bit to 18. I actually did not see it hit 19, but it would stick around 17 to 18. And then setting it to something like 25 watts, we can see here it spikes up a bit higher at 28 and then we'll just fast forward a little bit. This is 5X, you'll see it stays at 28, 27, 26 and then it will eventually hold that 25 just like before. All right, now on to the OS power modes. We're gonna have efficiency on the left, balanced in the middle and performance on the right. First up, we have Forza Horizon 5. We're just using the medium graphics preset. And here we are at 15 watts. This is 720p. Once again, we have efficiency up at the left, balanced in the middle and performance off to the right. And you can see here the averages are extremely close, pretty much identical performance between these three different modes. And here we are bumping it to 30 watts, still 720p, and I'm really not seeing a difference. These charts are almost identical across the board. You can look at your averages, the 1% and 0.1s, and they are very close. I'll fast forward even faster, and it's pretty much the same as we wrap up this benchmark. I also wanted to test 1080p. So this is 15 watts at 1080p. And if anything, efficiency could have a very, very slight performance edge. You can see here 42 and the FPS is maybe a little bit higher, but it would be very hard to know in game. That's how close all of these are. Moving up to 30 watts, this is still at 1080p and it's 64 across the board, 54 for the 1%, 47, 48, 48 pretty much identical performance at 1080p at 30 watts. And one other test I wanted to do, this is back down to 720p, we're at 15 watts, but this is actually on battery on all of these. So I unplugged the actual charger, even though we still are going into the stream capture, this is running off the battery just to see if maybe there is a difference for that efficiency when on battery. And I'll fast forward even a little more and you can see it is basically identical across the board once again. And here we are on Cyberpunk now, 720p, 15 watts. This is plugged in again, and it is about the same once again. You can look at all the stats right here, even the frame time, all of that looks pretty similar across that efficiency, that balanced and that performance mode. And then bumping it up to 30 watts and the performance is pretty close again. You can actually see over here, the performance mode does seem to be slightly less in this run, but it definitely could be within margin of error and very similar across the board. Moving on to 15 watts, this is 1080p and we can see about 23 across the board, 24 and really not much difference at all anywhere. These are very close to the same. Bumping it to 30 watts, 1080p again, and it's about 40 across the board for the averages. The 1% are around 30, and the 0.1s are about 27, 20, and 26 within margin of error, and it's really not gonna matter which mode you choose, you're gonna see about the same thing. And once again, here we are at 15 watts on the battery test at 720p like we did in Horizon 5, and we can see here it is also pretty much identical. So it doesn't matter if you're on battery or plugged in, it seems to be about the same result. And as a bonus tip, if you made it to the end, I wanna show you the power mode, which is labeled OS power mode in Legion space and what it does. And if we come down here, you can see we are on battery. So I have unplugged it and it's still running through the display, but we are on battery. And if you wanna get to this screen, you can just right click on this battery icon and click on power and sleep settings and that will take you right here. You can see this is showing balance, so let's go over to Legion Space, and for this OS power mode, we'll change it from balance to performance. Then we just alt tab back over, and you can see it changed windows to best performance. Now here's why you might not wanna run best performance. Right here, we have a video playing, and over here you can see the watt usage. Right now it's at about 13, 12 watts. It should go down to about nine. And if we look at Task Manager, we're at about three, 2.8, three gigahertz for the CPU. Now all we're going to do is open up those power settings and take a look at the watts over here. When we drop this down to best power efficiency, and you will see it just dropped from nine, five, four watts. 
So we went down all the way to four. So let's go ahead and minimize this and just leave the video playing for a second. And you can see while watching YouTube, we're maintaining about four watts. That is a massive battery savings. And that is the main reason you would want to use efficiency. It is lowering the CPU clock, as you can see down here, and pulling wattage specifically from the CPU. And that will just save you power. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it provided some value and I will see you in the next one. Peace.